Dorf, it's big bash again. How are you feeling? Yeah, really good. Uh, it's an exciting time of year. It's always fun pulling on the orange. And this year is uh, yeah, going to be really nice to play some games at home. Um, talking about that as well, Saturday week, obviously the first game at Opera Stadium. Um, how exciting is it to be back in, front of, hey, back in front of the crowds regularly, but also back at Opera Stadium? Yeah, to, uh, to say we're excited is probably an understatement. It's an amazing place to play cricket. We're very fortunate to play in front of an amazing fan base. So, yeah, I'd love to see everyone come out and get a, get behind us and really support us in our first game on December 17th. From a personal standpoint as well, it looked like, at least during the T20 World Cup, that the wicket was playing nice and fast. Um, you sort of lift your that sort of idea as a quick bowler? Yeah, it should be really nice. Uh, and the wicket generally suits our bowling attack. We've got a fair bit of versatility within our pace stocks, but also some really quality spin bowling options too. So we've played a, a fair bit there now and we're starting to get a really good grasp of how we want to play our cricket there. So it's an exciting thing to have a fast bouncy wicket for sure. Yeah, it's a great unit. It's a good fun unit to be a part of as well. Like we bounce off each other and we've played a lot together, which has been really important as well. So knowing each other's strengths and weaknesses and really sort of how we can continue to get the best out of each other is really important. And like I said before, it's a fun group. We have a lot of fun together and um, yeah, hopefully those performances continue to show on the field. Obviously a lot of the guys dusted off the cobwebs yesterday. What did you make of what you saw? It was a good hit out. Uh, so a few guys had some strong performances, which was nice. Boys said the wicket was a little bit spicy, but uh, it's always good to test yourself on a wicket like that. So good hit out. And yeah, like you said, we'll go again today. So it'll be a bit of fun. And you'll be getting back out there today, sort of stretching yourself out, stretching the limbs. How are you feeling? Yeah, feeling good. So daddy daycare yesterday and now getting on now yeah, getting on the field tomorrow. And Oh, sorry, not tomorrow. Getting on the field right now, basically, and uh, ready to go again, which will be nice. Mate, it's obviously a stark bowling group. Um, have you thought about the sort of selection squeeze? It's something that we've seen in the Shield. Um, how are you going to fit all of these guys in this year? Yeah, it's a, it's a tough one, you're right. There's a lot of quality quick bowlers vying for realistically probably four spots. So um, I'm sure we'll rotate us throughout the season, depending on how guys are travelling and things like that, um, and international duty. So Tamal's here for, I think, for the first half is my understanding. So make sure we use the, the most out of him in the first half. And, um, but you're right, it's going to be tough but we, we know that whoever takes the field uh, is going to be ready to go and we've got an amazing pace attack. A lot made of the threat, but I guess it's probably affected the batters more so than the bowlers. But is it, has it been a distraction around the group or has it been sort of business as usual, especially if you guys are sort of tight? Yeah, not too much of a distraction, to be honest. Yeah, there's a lot going on in the background and guys sort of um, trying, to get, trying to get some international signings and that sort of thing to come over the last minute. But uh, we're very fortunate that we've got a good core group here in Perth. So... Most of us are, are pretty settled and pretty ready to go. So that's, that's exciting. And then we'll have a couple of guys come in uh, in the next sort of few days. You must be looking forward to playing with the imports, I guess, especially Faf. Do you have much of a relationship with him? Have you played with him before? Yes, yeah, so I know Faf reasonably well now. I spent uh, the last IPL with him at RCB. So quality fella, great cricketer, and an experienced head as well. So he's going to be a great guy to have around the group um, from all those perspectives. And yeah, I can't wait to catch up with him again. What specific? Leader? Is he someone that's going to work with Ashton to, to keep sort of developing his craft? Is, is that going to be a real benefit? Yeah, definitely. He's, he's had obviously a lot of international experience as a captain, now captain in the IPL as well. So there's a lot of experience that I know AT will draw on with that. But AT, is, as well to his credit, is a world-class leader. Um, so we're very fortunate to have guys like that. Um, but it's exciting to have Faf across. He also brings a real calm um, batting approach. So the way he goes about his batting is excellent. And I, th I think we'll certainly see the benefits of that at the stadium in particular. Back on the, back on the bowl was a word on Lance Morris. Obviously had a really, really good season. And, and with the test squad now, do you hope that you get to see as much of him as possible in the <laughs> scorches? Or do you want him touring around with the test squad for the rest of the summer? Well, we always want to be playing cricket for Australia. And so I'd love Lance to to continue to be in that setup, but if he's if he's not for whatever reason, then yeah, we'll welcome him, welcome him back with open arms. That's for sure. And what sort of a hit out are you going to get today? Are the bowling group bowling as a unit, and and is that important for sort of bowling in partnerships and, and that sort of thing? Yeah, so I think today we've sort of set up the team with uh, the majority of the guys that will potentially look like lining up for round one uh, in one team. Uh, and that is important, yeah. So to get that continuity again, bowl potentially the overs that you think you might bowl in a game scenario. So just tick all those little boxes to make sure that we're ready to go. And how are you fitness-wise? Has the build-up been all good? You're all clear and good to go for a full season? 
yeah, going really well. So build up's been good, had a little bit of downtime post um, the Marsh Cup that we had. Um, the one day is finishing for WA, but I've been playing a bit for Suvi, my club side, and yeah, feeling good and looking forward to getting out there today. Backtracking a little bit on, on Lance, what are the biggest improvements you've seen from him this year? Well, the, his consistency is now really, really impressive. Not only does he bowl 150k an hour at times, um, He's really, really consistent now. So that's really troubling batters. And if you chat to a lot of the guys, either our own team in the Nets or guys around the country, they say he's probably one of the fastest, if not the fastest at the moment. And yeah, there's, he's just a scary sight to face. And how translatable those skills into T20 cricket? Um, he's obviously got a hell of a lot of for Kent in the format. Yeah, exactly right. So it's, it's something that's always good. It's like having the joker in the pack, having a guy that can bowl express pace and really put the batters on the back foot. So that's something that if Lance is available for us, depending on all the selections and everything else going on, um, that yeah, he'll definitely be a, a real prize packet for us, that's for sure. Is he a lock to be picked if he's in? Because you're probably taking like max four seamers into a game and Brooke Self and, and Andrew Ty and, and Jai Pease. That's a, a pretty tough side to get into, especially while Jamal's here. Yeah, it certainly is. Um, and that's a question for Vogue and the selection panel, not me. But um, yeah, hopefully we can all just be putting strong performances on the board and it'll make it really tough for the selectors. And still a local replacement player on the table as well. What sort of an opportunity is it for some of the guys floating around grade career, playing second 11 stuff um, today and, and yesterday and um, on the weekend in grade career to push for that last spot? Well, it's a huge opportunity, isn't it? Yeah, if there's a local one coming, coming about, everyone will be sort of chomping at the bit to put those performances on. We've just had some T20s. I think there's another one day game coming up on the 17th as well for club cricket. So there's plenty of opportunities for guys to put their best foot forward. Beauty. Excellent. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thank you. Cheers, mate. Cheers.